Once you overcome the one inch tall barrier of subtitles, you will be introduced to so many more amazing films, said Parasite director Bong Joon-ho as he claimed the prize for foreign language film. In one perfectly barbed sentence, Bong called out the American movie going public's perceived aversion to subtitles. Bong effectively stated in English, I think we just use one language, the cinema. So welcome to my channel Beyond Subtitles and we will look at best of movies and TV series around the world. South Korea's film industry has produced many high quality war films over the past two decades. Most of these movies address the Korean war as it is most prominent in the country's national consciousness. However, Koreans also fought in World War II and the Vietnam War. This means there is also Korean war movies about those conflicts as well. In this list we explore the top war movies produced in South Korea as well as a bonus edition from North Korea which also makes a fair number of war films. This selection covers not only the Korean War but also other conflicts. While most movies on this list contain extensive combat footage, we have also included some that highlights war's more human aspects. Steel Rain A blend of espionage thriller and war film, Steel Rain tells the fictional story of a North Korean spy who teams up with a South Korean bureaucrat to prevent nuclear war on the Korean peninsula. The movie starts with a coup in North Korea, a belligerent cohort of generals seizes power, sparkling tensions through a false flag attack and threatening to launch nukes. Our protagonist must combat the conspirators behind the coup and restore more conciliatory leadership to North Korea. While Steel Rain doesn't have mass infantry battle scenes, it shows off plenty of other military hardware. Without giving too much away, look out for B-1 and B-52 bombers. Aegis destroyers, attack helicopters, and even ICBMs. Furthermore, the movie names come from the steel rain ammunition of multiple launch rocket systems that US forces deploy on the Korean Peninsula. Attempt communication. Northern Limit Line Amidst the World Cup in June 2002, co-hosted between South Korea and Japan, South and North Korea fought the second battle of Yeon Pyong. Northern Limit Line tells the story of this intense seaborne engagement. During the battle, North Korean patrol boats fired upon South Korean ones, sparking a deadly back and forth that wounded and killed dozen on each side. Don't let the lack of larger surface vessels deter you. Northern Limit Line offers one of the grittiest depiction of close quarters naval combat ever depicted on film. You will also gain a new respect for sailors in the Republic of Korea Navy whose courage and comradeship the movie puts front and center. White Badge Many in the West aren't aware that South Korea sent 300,000 plus troops to fight in the Vietnam War, the second largest foreign contribution to the conflict after the US. At that time, military dictator Park Chung-hee ruled South Korea and used these Vietnam deployments to curry favor with the US. Thus like the US, South Korea has a polarized memory of the war, in which many liberals see involvement in Vietnam as shameful and traumatic. Released not long after the country democratized, White Badge is one of South Korea's most renowned Vietnam War movies. Based on an autobiographical novel by a South Korean Vietnam veteran named Ah Jong Hyun, the film explores Vietnam through intense battlefield flashbacks while periodically revisiting how the war's traumas remain to the present day. <laughs> Another excellent Korean movie about the Vietnam War is Sunny, which depicts the conflict from a very different perspective. Korean actress Su A plays protagonist Soon Ye, a Korean woman who goes to Vietnam as a singer in order to find her husband. When in Vietnam, Soon Ye takes the stage name Sunny, giving the film its name. This renaming is also one example of how Sunny explores the Vietnam War's role in South Korean's modernization and cultural memory. Sunny offers not only rich insights into Korean history and culture but also ample combat scene. To find her husband, Soon Yi sings at front lines, experiencing artillery bombardments, firefights with the Viet Cong, and even a stint in VC tunnels. Odd to my father. It is like a Korean version of America's Forrest Gump. It shows how an every man makes his way through a country's recent history. 
therefore while parts of the movie aren't in war time many significant scenes like how forest gum serves in vietnam and meets lieutenant dan specifically odd to my father depicts not only the vietnam war but also the korean war this film's protagonist flees from north korean forces during the hangnam evacuation and then experiences swam conflict and urban bombing in vietnam if you are a history buff in addition to war movie buff you need to watch odd to my father my way during d day american paratroopers captured a man of asian descent wearing a german uniform this man was yang kyung jong a korean who had the misfortune of being conscripted into the japanese soviet and then german militaries during the world war 2 my way is a korean movie loosely inspired by yang's true story the film protagonist kim jung sik gets forced into the imperial japanese army captured by the soviets at the battle of khalkin gol conscripted to fight the germans captured on the eastern fronts and then finally pressed into the time for d day while my ways plots get disorganized at times it's one of the most ambitious korean war movies ever made and contains diverse combat scenes across many of world war 2's different fronts <laughs> Wall Meadow To spice up this list we have added Wall Meadow one of North Korea's most popular war movies This 1982 feature tells the story from the other side of the September 1950 battle of Incheon in which Douglas MacArthur led 40,000 troops in an amphibious landing Wall Meadow takes its name from an island of Incheon's coast In this action packed movie a North Korean coastal battery unit must defend the island at all cost from American attack While sometimes over dramatized and filled with propagandist flair, Wall Meadow provides valuable insight into North Korean attitudes towards the Korean War. Furthermore, you can watch the entire movie for free with English subs on YouTube. Operation Chromite. South Korea also made a movie about the Battle of Incheon. Named after the amphibious landing squad name Operation Chromite focuses on a small intelligence unit tasked with covertly scouting the landing area. Loosely inspired by the real life Operation Trudy Jackson, Operation Chromite's South Korean protagonist disguises themselves as North Korean troops in order to obtain important intelligence like naval mine placement maps. Without spoiling too much, the plan runs into difficulties and results in aggressive urban and beach combat included with armored vehicles. As an added bonus, Liam Neeson plays General Douglas MacArthur, who is counting on the unit's intelligence to execute his landings. A Little Pond. This movie delves into one of the Korean War's most inglorious moments, the No Gunnery Massacre. In July 1950, before the Incheon landings, American forces fired upon a group of South Korean refugees suspected of harboring North Korean infiltrators, killing hundreds. The incident stayed unknown until 1999 when a group of Associated Press journalists published a report based on testimony of both survivors and US troops. Their reportage ended up winning a Pulitzer Prize and was adapted into a book called The Bridge at No Gun Re. Knowledge of the incident sparked anti-American sentiment in South Korea even after President Bill Clinton expressed remorse. In a little pond, an assembled cast of South Korean actors plays characters inspired by those who died during the No Gunnery massacre. While this isn't your traditional war movie, it's a rare, important look at a controversial moment in the Korean War. The Long Way Home. While war has combat, it also has camaraderie. Sometimes, as certain Korean war films shows, this camaraderie exists even between enemies. 2015's The Long Way Home is one of these movies. This comedic war movie pits middle-aged South Korean conscript Jang Nam Bok against teenage North Korean soldier Kim Young Kwang. Jang's commander orders him to deliver an important classified document. However, during an intense battle, Jang loses the document which falls into Kim's hands. The two bump into each other and strike up an unlikely friendship while still competing for the document. In Love and War Comedy Romance and Combat In Love and War provides a more lighthearted take on the Korean War. In this movie North Korean troops enter a remote South Korean village in June 1950. To survive the villagers give the troops a very hospitable welcome. 
मीन वाइल द नॉर्थ कोरियन कमांडर हैज़ अ सीक्रेट एजेंडा टू फाइंड अ सदर्न गर्ल ही न्यू बिफोर द वॉर एमिट्स पोटेंशियल रोमांस एंड द विलेजस बम्बलिंग हाइजिंग्स द कोरियन वॉर रेजेज ऑन एंड थ्रेटेंस टू एंक्रोच अपॉन देर एडेलिक लाइफ वेलकम टू डोंग मार्क गोल ऑल्सो सेट इन एन एडेलिक विलेज वेलकम टू डोंग मार्क गोल इज प्रोबेबली द मोस्ट पॉपुलर सिविलियन फोकस्ड कोरियन वॉर फिल्म ऑफ ऑल टाइम while there is still some important combat scenes the movie offers a more hopeful look at how universal humanity transcends war time divisions in the film a us navy pilot south korean soldiers and north korean soldier chance upon a mountain village named dongmakgol the village is so remote that its resident don't know there is a war going on in fact they are completely mystified at why uniformed men are pointing wooden sticks at each other Eventually the recent military arrival comes to appreciate Dong Mak Gol's innocence and must cooperate to save it from potential destruction. Welcome to Dong Mak Gol is an all around enjoyable movie that you can watch repeatedly. It has comedic relief, dramatic tension and an exceptionally touching storyline. Seventy one into the fire. Based on true events, Seventy One Into the Fire tells the story of Seventy One student soldiers who fought hundreds of elite North Korean troops in the Korean War's early days. In August 1950, South Korean troops remained trapped in the Busan perimeter. To maintain the perimeter, South Korean and U.S. forces engaged North Korean forces in the Battle of Pohang Dong. As part of this battle, the student soldier Seventy One Into the Fire commemorates fought off. North Korea's feared 766th unit at a Pohang Middle School starring famed K-pop singer Top as a protagonist the film includes ample well choreographed combat scenes the student soldiers defended the middle school as if it were the Alamo suffering many casualties and braving intense enemy firepower 71 into the fire doesn't hold back on depicting the intense sacrifice of those student soldiers <laughs> the front line with the front line we move to korean war's closing days as armistice negotiations drag on in 1953 north and south korean forces jockey to control strategic hills along the 38th parallel amidst this back and forth a south korean officer is sent to front line to investigate a suspected northern spy infiltration there he finds more than he bargained for through sweeping human wave charges suspenseful spy Sniper battles and intense trench warfare the front line depicts war as senseless and brutal however the movie doesn't have any ideological bent it simply focuses on the soldiers themselves in the front line both north and south korean soldiers openly wonder why they are fighting yet keep doing so because war has become their default way of life <laughs> taigo ki Last but not the least we have Taigo Ki the most renowned Korean military film ever the film subtitle Brotherhood of War comes from its plot about two brothers who fight on opposite sides of the Korean War Taigo Ki has truly epic scale the movie's plot starts in 1950 goes through 1953 and even includes a flashback from 2003 it covers a range of battles from urban warfare in Pyongyang to fighting in hills along the 38th parallel There is top-notch cinematography, special effects and acting to top it off. Besides sweeping combat scenes, Taigo Gi also holds societal significance. The Korean War separated many families and it wasn't uncommon for brothers to serve on different sides. Therefore, Taigo Gi has great emotional resonance to in South Korea, reminding people of the lasting trauma of the division. The film also marked South Korean cinema's in increasing maturation. Taigo Gi was South Korea's first modern big budget movie about the Korean War. Its critical and commercial success helped pave the way for many of the other movies you see on this list. <laughs>